Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Trina Sanderson here on the Infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. How does technology affect students? Wow, that's a great one. I actually got this topic from a friend of mine on Facebook. I, you know, I went out and I asked people, I said, you know what, what should we talk about today? What is important? I had a couple replies, but this one really stood out. How does technology affect us students? Well, if you're a student going to college, you already know how hard it is for you to put down your cell phone. I think that goes for everybody, whether you're a student or not. It is extremely hard for you to put down your tablet. It is extremely hard for you to cut off the HD TV. No, no, no. It is very, very, very hard for you to cut off the Ultra HD TV. No, 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 no. Better yet, the 3D TV. Wow. Man, today I just bought an HDMI cord. I, I really did. I, I got an HDMI cord and on it, it, it has all its features that comes with the cord or whatever. It, it's like, um, yeah, it, it shows you pictures in 3D and, you know, 10D and 2K4 TV and all this stuff. I'm like, wow, this is a very exclusive HDMI core, man, technology has really come far, and it's really, really freakishly weird that you can actually look at the TV and just be there, you know, it, it is that vivid, you know, the last time I went to the movie theaters, and we went and watched um, a Pixar movie, and we had to wear 3D glasses, and it's like all the objects were like right here, and I'm just like going crazy, my heart is beating fast, I'm getting nervous, I'm about to have a panic attack, you know, and I'm just like, man, this is, wow, it's way too real. So I can imagine what it would be like for future generations to come. You know, in this generation, we can proudly say that technology is more advanced than it has ever been before. Yes, we heard about the ancient Egyptians and what they did and how they built the pyramids and all this stuff. That may be true, but we weren't there to see it with our own eyes. So I can't take... I can't take everything for face value. You understand what I'm saying? I, I hear all that. I see the hieroglyphics and I got the symbolism and all this stuff about how they had a, a bird that could fly like a helicopter and all this stuff. And, I, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, I hear it. But at the same time, I don't really agree like that. I know today now, today it is crazy because we have these cell phones and, you know, some of us are students and. You know, we can go to class and we had a phone in our lap and the teacher might not even know it. And we could be taking exams and just getting all the answers off of Google. Major advantage slash disadvantage. A disadvantage only when the phone is taken from you and you get caught. <laughs> and you get expelled from school or something like that. Or you have to go to detention because the teacher caught you cheating on your test. Your cell phone could be a major advantage if you are a student matter of fact if you are a student in high school that's looking to go to college where are you going to look this information up on the college that you'll want to go to the internet you're going to find information about the college you want on the internet and to be more convenient what are you going to do you're going to find the information on your cell phone see nowadays we don't have to go to the library and look in this big old encyclopedia y'all remember we used to have to go look in the encyclopedias like it had an a to z and if you want to find anything about a rabbit, you got to go get the, the encyclopedia that's about this thick and and um, it had a big R on it. And then you open up the R encyclopedia and then you go to the R-A-B-B-I-T section and you see rabbit. And then it has like this paragraph below it. It'd be like hop, jump, skip, choo-choo, rabbit. And you're like, oh, that's what a rabbit do. And, you know, you usually had to do that for everything. Turtles, sharks, doves, all kinds of animals. But now it's like, man, you got the encyclopedia right there at your fingertips on your cell phone. You got Wikipedia. Not, not just, you're not just encyclopedias anymore. You got Wikipedia now. You know, you got how to translate words to synonyms, antonyms, dictionaries, all kind of dictionaries, Meridian Dictionary, Webster's Dictionary, all at your fingertips. All if you just type in something on your computer or on your cell phone. So that's a major advantage, but it's, at the same time, it could be a disadvantage because we're getting to the point where we're having to rely on our cell phones for everything. I remember I lost my cell phone once upon a time, and when I lost it, it felt like I lost a loved one. And I was so down and out, and I just could not believe that I had lost my loved one. Somebody had died in my family, and his name was Samsung, and we were tight. I used to hang with him every single day. He used to tell me all the answers to everything, and he, I, learned, I had so much wisdom because of this guy, and 
you know, he died on me, and, and I thought somebody had stolen from me, so I was kind of mad in a funny way, like thinking that somebody actually stole my friend from me, but, you know, at the end of the day, I had to get over it, you know, and find somebody else to, to for my life, you know, find somebody else to love, and so I, I bought a Galaxy S7, you know, he was a S6, you know, and, and he was cool, but I bought a S7, and I, I have a new friend now, and my new friend is crazy. He's actually helping me talk to you right now. <laughs> so technology, guys, could be a major advantage and disadvantage for college students. And not only college students, but everybody. But you just know, have to know and be aware of how much you're using it. That's what I do. When I find that I'm using my cell phone or I'm on the computer or I'm watching TV, the new HD TV, way too much, I notice that. I noticed that and I try to do something more constructive, something more hands on, something to do with nature, you know, play with my dog, go take a walk in the park, call a friend and just talk to a friend, do something different when you notice that you are always in the habitual habit of running to technology, put your phone in your pocket for a while, don't get on your phone, just leave it alone, cut it off, turn the ringer off, do anything you can do to keep a balance between being on your phone all the time versus being off your phone all the time. So when people see you and when people think about you, the only thing they think about you shouldn't be, yeah, he's always on it. She's always on her cell phone all the time. You know, when you when you're at work, when you come into work, what are the, what are the impression that you're giving people? Oh, she's gonna be on her cell phone all the time. So watch her and make sure she's not on her cell. You want to give your impression off that you're a balanced person that you're not on your cell phone all the time like everybody else who are not aware of that. So I hope this resonated with you guys. Technology could be a major advantage and disadvantage for students as well as everybody. I'm Trenton Sanderson. And this is the infamous Living Room Network. Please subscribe, guys. I'll see you next time. Follow me at Living Rim on Twitter if you want to watch me on Periscope. New videos every day, every single day. I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.